So I'm going to try to do a five gallon canister filter for the turtle tank. This is pretty much everything in that pipe over there. Oh, don't mind the messy garage. Uh, that I'm going to need to do it. Everything's based off of what uh, I learned from the King of Do It Yourself Joey videos. Um, at the Lava Rock for the media, I bought a little bit fancier uh, filter material. Um, I'm going to use some flexible tube, some three quarter inch with barbs. Um, I bought that drill bit. I also had uh, a few things laying around that I'm adding. I'm going to be using with it, like the uh, PVC pipe cutter. I had some of the cement and glue. I bought a whole case of uh, hose clamps. I'm not going to need all of them, but I'll have them for other projects. Here's the uni seals. Uh, they only come in five packs, I believe. So I only need two, but I'll have extra. And there's the pump that I got. Uh, the video that Joey showed. Uh, showed a different pump. I also realized the video was six years old that I'm basing this build off of. So I thought maybe this pump might be a little bit better. I don't know. It's got a um, output of like 1300 I believe. I don't see it on the box. But um, the tank I'm putting this on is a 120 gallon tank. Um, yeah, I'm not great with videos so if I do make this YouTube video I'm gonna have to learn how to add different parts of it together <laughs> all right I'll see how this goes so the first thing I'm gonna do is drill a one and a quarter inch hole on the top of this gamma seal the gamma seal is pretty cool by the way it goes on the bucket and you have a unscrewable lid Oh, there's some of my fittings I didn't show in the other video. And then it's got a O-ring all the way around it. Hopefully it makes a waterproof seal. So let's drill this thing. There's my hole with the gamma seal on it, or uh, unisil on the gamma lid. So. Now we just gotta do one on the side of the bucket. So I move the project inside because it's cooler. And I'm continuing. I got all the pieces I need. Here's the pump. Um, it comes with these little fittings. Rubber gasket in there. So you put the fitting you need, which I need these ones. Through the gas through the connector like that. Put the rubber gasket in there. And then when you tighten it down to the pump, it makes a water tight seal. I'm also gonna add Teflon tape if I can find it around the threads. And here's my second unisil. I tried to get close to the bottom of the bucket as I could. I'm pretty sure that's what Joey recommended. Here's what it looks like on the inside. And here's the ammo lid. After I squeeze it down on the bucket, so that's what the outside of the canister filter is going to look like. And yeah, I got this fitting, it's going to connect to that tubing, and then I'm going to make a rigid PVC pipe coming out of the bucket on the top and bottom to these. And the flexible tube is going to take it from the bucket to the pump. And then more flexible tube is going to go from the pump up to the tank. Here's the tank, by the way, uh, a little close, but it's a 120 gallon tank for a turtle. Just cleaned it today. Hopefully, it stays clean with the pump. But let me do a little bit more. I'll come back to it. This next part, I turn the bucket upside down. I'm going to try to get a really close diameter to the bucket to create a little cap in the bottom of the bucket so when I put the lava rock in it doesn't go past this screen and I'm going to use uh, four little pieces of pipe to keep it elevated I'll show more in a second so I made the base of the canister filter out of this mesh I got off of Amazon 
comes four sheets. Found the easiest way to do it is with wire cutters. Alright, that's what it looks like. I put four pieces of PVC pipe to elevate it. Just put the level rocks in. Alright. The next step I'm going to do is get the pump ready with the fittings. I don't have any thread pipe thread tape, but I got this tape, which is for gas, but I'm going to use it anyways. There's the pump with the fittings. So the next time I work on is getting the canister pipes done. I just glued the outlet to the pump together and shut it through the uni seal. It was really hard to get in there. I had to make sure I didn't tear anything. That looks good. Alright, now time to do the inlet to the filter. So there's the outlet. This is the union and the valve to isolate the bucket to a barbed three quarter inch to three quarter inch. Uh, you can put three quarter inch hose on there. Alright, now I'm going to do Here's the inlet to the top of the bucket. This pipe right here. It's going to go to the top, to the uni, the uni sill, and then connect to the junction. Then you have your valve to cut it off from the tank. So when you need to clean the filter, you can cut off the water coming down. So this is what I got so far. The inlet with the valve to the union to isolate the bucket. To another valve to isolate the outlet of the bucket going to the pump. And there's the union to the pump. I'm not sure if I should have added another valve there. The only concern I have now is how high this came up from the bucket and how much room I have to work with down here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make that turn. I might try to add a 45 instead. Uh, we'll figure it out. So I put a 45 on there to hopefully get around that edge to go up to the tanks the filters in inlet and then I connected some clear tube three quarter inch inside diameter over to the pump and then that's gonna go up to the pump outlet so that's the next step I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna use clear tube to connect the PVC fittings that I make for the tanks outlet and inlet uh, see how this goes. This is the finished product. I haven't put the filter media in yet. This is the inlet. I had a little trouble with that because of how high I made it. And it goes up there. Here's the inlet to the canister. Goes over top, down into the bucket, out there to the pump. The pump pumps it up over here and out those two outlets. So I'm getting the filter media ready. These are lava rocks. This is two bags I got on Amazon for 35 bucks. It only fills the bucket about halfway. But I'm gonna put two layers of filter element, which I'm doing next. So it should, should still be a lot of media. So now after I have it all fixed, set up, I can use the unions to disconnect. This is before I add water. I'm not sure if the pump's gonna hold the water back or if I'm gonna have to add another valve here. But I got a valve there and I got one on the outside of the bucket. So that would keep the water in the bucket. If a little water comes from the pump, I guess I can deal with that with a towel or something. But now I got the, the canister out and I'm adjusting some stuff. These are my little legs. I'm going to put it in the bucket um, to hold up the rocks. that and I rinsed out all the lava rocks this is two bags like I said uh, it's about $35 on Amazon and I still have to do the other filter element there's the kitten uh, I end up using scissors to cut this material I paid a little extra for this I can't remember the price uh, I'll try to put in, in the comments how much I spent on everything I think I'm about $200 into this project but there's the filter pads I'm gonna try to um, yeah I'm gonna put them right on top of the lava rocks 
I rinsed off. Then I'm gonna connect this thing and uh, I'll fill the tank and um, see if it works. Now I'm filling out the tank and I test it out pretty soon. I end up it's a little low, but I might adjust it. There's the pump down there. There's the canister. There's Iris. It's all hooked up. I mounted my electrical outlet so that it's better for water if it drips down. Uh, yeah. Let's see how it goes after I fill it up. So everything seems to be working, but under normal pressure without the pump on, there's too much pressure, it starts to leak out of the lid. So if my pump ever fills, all the water from the tank is going to come out on the floor. So I might have to figure out that. But everything's working. The inlet. I got to cut out little spots. Here's the outlet. It's on real low right now. Probably turn it up. But that's it. It's working. Just got to be real careful with the normal tank pressure. I got that valve, which helps to stop the pressure if the pump does turn off, if I turn the pump off. But this seal does not work very well. I don't know if there's a way to make it better, but I feel like it's kind of dangerous right now.